Hi everyone, Liberty Doll here. Today, someone's dreams came true. That someone was Zach Danger Brown and his dream of making potato salad. In just a few short days, he raised over $50,000 to buy potatoes and onions and a chef and maybe a whole restaurant. But whatever it is he plans to do, he did it all through crowdfunding. And that is why crowdfunding is awesome. So some of you might be asking, well, what is crowdfunding anyway? And what does it have to do with potato salad or liberty? Crowdfunding is when a group of people come together to support a project that's been created by another person or organization. And the government isn't involved much. Well, they are, but kind of only a little bit. So the thing that makes crowdfunding so cool is that people can choose what they want to invest in without the government doing it for them. Typically, if someone has an idea and they want to get funding, they have to write a grant proposal or go to a bank and convince some bureaucrat that their idea is good. With crowdfunding, it's the market that decides. The market looks at your project and looks at what you have to offer and decides whether or not that's a good idea and whether or not it's something that they would have interest in. And what's even better is it doesn't require business experience, so that means that anyone can do it. So say that you came up with this idea and you put it up on Kickstarter or Indiegogo or one of those other crowdfunding sites and you were successful. That's awesome. But that's also where the government comes in. So the IRS hasn't taken a definitive stance on crowdfunding, but in most cases they consider it income. On top of it, most of those websites for crowdfunding don't actually handle the payments themselves. The payments go through third-party companies that are required to write up a 1099 if you receive over $20,000 or from 200 or more donors. So then maybe the solution is just to do crowdfunding for donations, right? Right? Maybe? That doesn't really work either. If the IRS looks at all your earnings and decides that it is considered a donation, you're still going to get taxed if you make over $14,000. And let's face it, most ideas cost a lot more than $14,000. So in the end, crowdfunding isn't the perfect solution, but it's still an excellent step forward in liberty. Thanks for watching. Bye!